prior where I went to school from the age to 4 to 11. Uh, this is St. Edward's Church where I went to Sunday school for a very short time, just until I got my Bible. This wood cottage next door actually used to be the post office. Beautiful wood cottage. I mean really this is what the village consists of. That's the pub, the White Thorn, just been there, had a nice little glass of wine, or sorry, a glass of beer, and uh, they've agreed to put up one of the posters about the um, about the book. And this is Shaw Prior Primary School. It's only a tiny little school. When I was here, there was just two classrooms, and the role consisted of between 30 and 40 children. Now, it's not much bigger than that, although they do have more classrooms. I remember playing on this playground, and playing rounders. There wasn't that house there, it was just like a field. And I used to take great delight in knocking the ball and hit right over that fence into the field next door. Well here we are at Shaw Bridge, uh, this is the start of the walk I had every morning to go to school. It's all uphill from there, about a mile to school. It never did us any harm, but I tell you what, <laughs> getting up in the morning so it's not easy when you're a little boy. There we pan over and there it is, that's Shaw Bridge from the road. Right, here we are on the junction of the two rivers. Uh, this is the River Meavy, it's in full flood because it's been since it rain so much. And this is the River Plym. Now when I was a boy, this river used to run white. It was caused by the clay uh, that washed down from Hadover because we had a clay works here. And just up there, through the trees, I don't know whether you're Maybe you can see it, I'll try and get a better shot later on. Is the Jewish Stone Rock where I used to climb. And I used to play all around across the river. There was a, a swing across the river, not far up there. A rope swing, and as it says in the book, you used to swing across the river, do acrobat, acrobatics on it. And the local the county from Plymouth used to come and used to watch us and then try and emulate us. And what we used to do was sort of hang upside down uh, as we swung across the river. Then they used to try that. And of course, after we'd all gone home, we'd walk into the river and pick up all the coins we'd dropped out of their pockets. From this bridge, we used to play poo sticks. We used to drop our sticks over the bridge on this side. And then go across the other side of the bridge and who's ever came out first is the wind. Of course in those days we didn't know about being called two sticks. It was just a, a game we played. I used to come fishing here, We've never caught very much, but occasionally I would catch an eel under the rocks in the water there. Beautiful area, this is why it's uh, visited quite often because it's such a beautiful spot to walk through these woods uh, to where we lived. I was just about to show you now where that was. This was a place um, called the Colony and it was a, a group of about 30 shacks uh, built during World War II by business people for their families to come uh, to during uh, the Blitz of Plymouth. Uh, you may or may not know that it was very badly bombed during the war and so there was these houses, huts I should say, and this is the field. Now where you see that car parked over there, that is where our hut used to be, a two bedroom hut. There is one left, the next door one. Uh, which is just through those trees, which I'm going to go to in a moment. But Mrs. Faulkner uh, lived when I was here, 
uh, and when I left in 1949 and she still lives here, she's in her 80s. I'm hoping that she's going to be at home, but uh, I don't know because I didn't give advance warning. I used to play in this uh, field. I can remember riding a bike over that rock. I can remember standing just in front of it with a great big snowball. There was a photograph of me with it. You wouldn't believe it now, but there was huts dotted round all the way round here. Completely different. What happened was they were pulled down as people left. Um, this actually is a scout hut. Uh, the scouts come here camping quite frequently. Mrs. Faulkner was the first person to have television, or the first television that I saw anyway. Um, it was um, operated with a petrol generator, and I used to start it up sometimes. I see they've still got television, they've got a, a, a satellite aerial here. I've spoken to her son Eddie. Um, gave them a copy of the book, of course, because I've mentioned them in the book. There's no electricity, uh, no gas. There is running water now, which we didn't have in our day. Um, the, the water is actually piped in now through a pipe. But when I lived here, the pipe was a stand pipe just at the end of the field there. And we used to collect the water in a bucket. The uh, signpost I'm going along to Bickley now and Robra. We used to walk to Robra because we very often missed the train from shore. My mum and I, I can remember many a time walking it and thumbing a lift. Of course in those days there weren't many cars but those that were usually used to stop. It's the road to Gudumivi. And there we've got old farmer Alfred's farmhouse. I used to work here sometimes. Uh, I can remember in this yard there was a big circular saw and it was operated with a tractor. There was no guard on the saw and we'd saw in logs. Gosh, I'd never get away with it these days. What a difference. You see this hut? This hut has been standing, goodness knows how long, 40 odd years. I can remember the coronation celebrations being held in that. It was slightly different in that it wasn't covered in at the front. But uh, there was trestle tables outside and uh, we had this celebration, this tea there. Gosh, and now we can see the Dewar Stone. The times I've walked up there. Incredible. There's an easy way and there's a hard way, but we did it always when we were kids. This is uh, Shawbridge uh, Railway Station. In my day, there was a hut standing there, and I'd crenellated edges to the roof and inside we could sit just a little waiting room basically and there was a tiny little office at the end and uh, it had a, a little arched um, hatch where the um, guard or station master <laughs> wouldn't call him a station master really because there's hardly any station to master um, the trains only ever came through two or three times a day anyway um, but that's where he dispensed the tickets and so the uh, track as it is now they've converted it into a bicycle track so um, and walking uh, track so it's uh, actually quite good now people can see the countryside there was a uh, video made of the very last trip the train made on this line. Uh, memory serves me right, that would have been in uh, 1962, something like that. I mentioned it in the book anyway. It's 
so there we go that shawl not a lot to it I'm afraid but there's some memories there and they're all in the <coughs> finally uh, this is the view of the Dewarstone Rock from Bickley and if we move over the church there in the distance is Shaw Prior. Where the school is. So that is Shaw Prior. Unfortunately, if I pan across, there's a tree hiding. The Durastone.